Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Thon Nguyen and my he is my partner. My name is Nong Ho. Uh, today we are going talking about our project for this course which is the Spectrum Analysis System. For this project, we will map the frequency signal of the man-made transmitter in Portland and Vancouver area. And to do that, we will use the machine to collect the signal from the air. And then, uh, we, another purpose for this project will be collect the signal frequency from the sunlight and then determine what is the frequency range. Okay, first of all, I will introduce the machine. This is the function generator. This, this machine can create a stable, the echo output signal from place, low digital size, waste, and extend or selection of view on standard and arbitrary waveform. It provides the flexibility to raise custom waveform. It has a wide frequency range and from 1 megahertz to 120, 1 microhertz to 120 megahertz. And the second machine is this machine. This one is the N923B Spectrum Analyzer. This equipment has the various primary feature and function. For example, uh, this machine has a high sensitive measurement. This can display the signal with the frequency range up to 3 GHz. It also has high accuracy power measurement and also have a high resolution screen. Yeah. And then this machine is called MDO4104C. This is the mid, low mass, on this cluster. And then it includes the bedroom analyzers, function, gen function generators, Losis analyzer and proto protocom analyzer and frequency counters. It can measure the frequency up to 3 gigahertz and it can display on information for function generator to here. For example, this is the display the what is frequency, what is the width to width value, what is the period and in addition this machine can display on spots Time domain, this is the time domain right here, and in frequency domain, but when it's the lab in spot frequency and time domain, the signal kind of is very low. Finally, one thing which is very important to collect the frequency from the air in this machine, and this one we call the radio telescope. We also can use the antenna to collect the frequency, however, for our project, we will collect the frequency from the sun. That's why we decided to use the radio telescope. And how this one works? So, for this radio telescope, the signal will be, all the signal will be come on here, and the shape of the radio telescope will be point, uh, focus the signal into one point, and this point is right here. And come from here, we can use the cable to connect this tool to the spectrum analyzer and then the spectrum analyzer will display all the signal that's collect from the radio telescope and for our test plan for this project first we will place the radio telescope outside the same building and point this one upward to the sky and then we will connect the cable from radio telescope to the spectrum analyzer and then we can record and identify the signal from the spectrum analyzer. Finally, we will set specify the frequency signal of the man-made transmitter and you see uh, what company on that frequency range. And then we have collect the signal such as AM signal, FN signal, money TV channel and AT&T mobile and so on. And for the frequency signal from the sun, because in fact the sun has emit various frequency signal, so our group decided to collect the frequency signal of the visual light, which had the, the wavelength range from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer. So 
The first, we will calculate the frequency range by using the equation C equal lambda times F, where C is the speed of light, lambda is the wavelength, and F is the frequency. So, after calculate the frequency range, we got the frequency range from 430,000 gigahertz to 750,000 gigahertz. That means the signal is out of range of this machine, which can display up to only 3 gigahertz. So, with the current equipment, we were unable to collect the frequency signal of the visible light. And then, for the future enhancement, to, we tend to collect the frequency spectrum from the sun or the star. In order to do this, we need to the enhance radio helicopter, which is able to pick up the signal from a far distance. Additionally, we need to uh, we need a better spectrum analyzer, such which can display a frequency in trillion hertz. So. Um, throughout this project in this course, we have learned various knowledge. Um, we learned about the use of this equipment and how to apply this in reality. Also, uh, we learned many information about the frequency signal in our life. And we learned how, to, how the signal transmits from one light to another, how the frequency refers to the wavelength, and how to collect the signal in the air. Moreover, we learn how the radio telescope work and the way to collect the frequency signals. So, therefore, from this project, we have learned very helpful knowledge which we can use for our future career. So, and that's it, our project for this term. Thank you for listening. listening.